Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before I get started, I want to go over my disclaimers. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800-799-SAFE. 800-799-7233 and for mental health resources reach out to NAMI at 800-950-NAMI 800-950-6264 you can also text at 741741 and for additional resources reach out to the National Suicide Hotline at 988 you can either text or call that number with that being said please remember to like subscribe and share so um welcome back to my channel you know thank you for coming back and uh, leaving comments and taking the time to watch my short videos. I really appreciate that. So today I want to talk to you about the lesson you learn from the narcissist. So you may, you know, you feel in this headspace that you were the most, uh, stupidest person to be in a relationship for however long you was in it. And why didn't you see it when, uh, see it earlier you know i know we all have that thoughts because i used to have that the same thoughts you know i would be and even when i deal with people who are narcissistic and i know that they are um sometimes there's something about me that still want to give people or mankind the benefit of the doubt so when i deal with them and i know right away who they are and what they are um I, I kick myself for entertaining them as long as I did, even if it's for six months or even if I'm entertaining them because they are family members and I know that they're not worth um, the gum on the bottom of your shoe. You know, I had a person that told me uh, point blank that they were a narcissist. And I said, no, I don't think so. And I, you know, said, you know, we all sometimes have narcissistic traits, but this person was adamant. So what I've learned from that, when somebody tell you who they are, trust and believe they're telling you this and you need to hear it and you need to, um, not discard that you need to make sure that you hear what somebody is saying, because uh, within that uh, window of somebody opening up and telling you who they are, they're not lying to you. So you need to believe what they say. So I wrote down a few things that um, you, a, a narcissist, have taught you and what the lesson that you have learned. You've learned how to be patient. You know, you've been in this relationship for however long you were in it. So that's patient right there. And on top of that, you had strength you know, patient and strength to, to endure the things that you did in this relationship with this person. And um, when you saw things were going pretty bad, uh, you start to have hope and faith, hope and faith that things would change, hope and faith that you would have the strength to leave this relationship. And which a lot of us did, you know, and some of us are still on the fence thinking about it. But I just want you to know that during this relationship, there was lessons to be learned. And then um, the most important lesson was a discernment. You know the traits of a narcissist. You know what they do. You know how they say it and how they do it. You, you can spot it a mile away. You know, and like I said, I don't believe everybody in the world is a narcissist. But you know you can tell the difference. God, um, they have taught you to use your intuition and your discernment that God has given you. So those are the things that they have taught you. And the most important one is self-preservation. You have learned that the things that you've been through with this person, you'll never allow another soul to put you through this. So you're uh, preserving yourself. And there's nothing wrong with putting yourself first and making sure that you take care of your mental, your physical, and everything else in between. So this person who has done a number on you has put you in the mindset that you'll never let this happen and you will take care of yourself and you'll fight to keep your self-preservation. And so that's a blessing within itself. So yeah, it may have took you longer than most, but sometimes uh, it's not because you're stupid and you couldn't get it the first time. It's because you needed to really see, you know, God uh, put you in a place 
and allow you to go thing go through things for a reason and it has nothing to do with well i'm so stupid and i just couldn't see it for work for what it was uh, you was there because you needed to be there and sometimes um you have to repeat the same lesson more than once and when you do it just make you that much smarter and i always like to say when you go through something more than once it's because uh, you're strong enough to go through this and you do have a story to tell so don't let anyone tell you uh, you shouldn't talk about it or you should keep, be, keep quiet because it made no sense for you to stay as long as you did um, there's people that are suffering that are in a relationship and they don't know how to get out and they feel that they've been in this relationship too long and they need someone who has probably spent the same amount of time or just been through it and their time was short but it was so hard for them and they finally got out they need that guiding light they need that hope so don't ever let someone tell you that you were a fool for staying as long as you did don't let anyone make you feel bad for the choices that you made because god allowed you to make those choices and he kept you protected through it so um, share your story you know you don't have to go into all the details of everything that happened to you but you can relate to what some of the people are going through and suffering suffering through you know uh, sometimes just talking about it casually you never know what people are going through but talking about it casually to other people um, it may spark something in them to get up and leave a relationship that could become violent and also in their life so if you know someone that's going through this please share this video if you're going through it watch it as many times as you need to and i will see you again tomorrow thank you for watching